Well, hello again. Um, and we are now on a Friday morning. So we're going to try another game. Um, so my ratings dropped a bit, 2380. I'm playing in Vincible X. And again, that's a flag. Well, I just don't know what country it is. So we're going to try out um, a Sicilian. So I've tried the Grob, tried the French defence. And my opponent's played an interesting move here. Queen takes d4 in the Sicilian. So I'm trying to remember my theory here. No idea. Uh, let's just go bishop d7. Again, you see, you see me out of my theory quite often on about move 4 which is, again, quite worrying for someone who's written so many opening books. So uh, not a good sign. But, OK, we have a typical Moroxy bind type of structure here where um, my opponent has these pawns in the centre of the board, um, giving him quite a bit more space. And generally, I quite like these positions for white. Now, the idea here is to swap off his knight on f3 and try to at least gain more control over the d4 and e5 squares. These two squares are quite nice for my pieces, so at some point I'm happy to swap off my light square bishop for my opponent's knight, um, because we're going to see a typical manoeuvre coming in soon from me, with my knight now going to d7, and here you can see my knight on c6 can come to d4 or to e5. So I've got nice control of the dark squares here, but I have to be careful I don't get too you know, squeezed in space. Um, right, so my opponent just wants to go bishop b2, knight d5, when he will have a very nice position, I'd say. So I need to be careful about this and try to act quite aggressively. Queen a5 springs to mind. Knight d4 is another option. Um, and maybe I can go like knight d4 and knight c5, but my knights may only be temporarily on those squares. I kind of want to play the move b5 here. Is that legal? Well, let's go knight d4 first, and then maybe I can play b5 next. I, I don't want to get in a passive position. This is one of the dangers in the Roxy bind. And I'm hoping here that I can now strike out the move b5. This is my tactical idea, where I at least create some play on the queen side. And we can see that I'm trying to take use of this diagonal. Okay, well now I can take on c4. And I go rook b8, and I mean, this is very pleasant for me now because this c4 pawn is incredibly weak. And he has to be very careful about any tactics of rook takes b2 here. Now, I don't think it works in this position, and he is threatening to take my knight. I mean, rook takes b2, knight takes b2, is there anything there? I don't feel it. So that was a good move, knight to a5. Uh, otherwise, I think he'd be quite clearly worse. Um, I mean, I could sack the exchange here with some shady, shady, shady compensation. Should we give it a go? Yeah, let's give it a go. Come on. This is uh, this is why I'm called the Psycho Cowboy and not the, the boring cowboy. We've got to do it. I mean, at least my knights are quite well placed. My bishop's nice. I've got some nice squares. Um, I don't fully believe this sacrifice, but it's, it's interesting. And his dark square bishop was a lovely piece, so I think it makes sense to swap it off. Um, and of course, now I'm threatening to take on e4. So you know, this might not be so might not be so bad. This sacrifice actually. It'd be nice to have a day of sacrifices for a change, and I'm not as hungover today because I had a nice sensible night. So that should, in theory, help my chess. But I have been told I maybe play better when I'm hungover. Uh, not sure about that. Okay, well, let's increase the pressure. Queen b6. And my threat now is queen takes b2 in some positions. And knight to f3 check, maybe. Some tactics like this. I've got rook to b8 coming. Maybe this is quite a good sack, actually. Um, I'm at least quite active here. Okay, well, I was, I was thinking here. Oh, I was hoping I could do a knight to f3 check, but he takes with his bishop. So this may... Where's the tactics here? Is there any tactics? Is this working for me? Um, it looks like I should have a very strong knight jump, but wherever I go with this knight, he takes with his bishop, so maybe there's nothing here, which is a bit annoying, um, obviously a bit annoying. And I want to keep my pieces on the board, really. I don't really want to allow him to swap bits off. 
Uh, okay, well, let's just go Rook B8 and just, if in doubt, bring some pieces in. I have to be a bit careful of my time situation as well. So I need to try to get at least one pawn here. Not looking so great, this compensation now. Rook B2 is my idea here. Um, and if he goes Queen takes, Knight F3, might not be so bad for me. I'll get my pieces at least active. i still got this nice Knight, bad Bishop. So it's certainly some compensation. There may well be some tricks here with my knight jumping and queen on f2. Can take on a2. Oh, he's gone for this. Okay, so he's returned. He's given back the queen um, to try to reach two rooks versus queen position. And this certainly does not scare me as much because my bishop is clearly a much better bishop than my opponent's bishop. His light squared bishop stuck behind his pawns can't get into the game so I kind of feel I should he's going to go rook b5 let's just play a useful move put my piece on dark squares I think this should be okay for me um because my bishop is such a strong piece um and of course my time situation as always I'm like a old man Williams nowadays uh old man chess star Williams so let's okay let's try to get my queen around the angle somewhere if I get my queen in, okay, well that weakens him a little bit more on a dark squares. I have to be careful of my time. So my bishop will go to c5, so it's very nice. I can probe a little bit. So I, I'm, I'm certainly not worse here. Um, okay, well I wanted to get my queen into his guts here anyway. And try to cause some mischief. Very tricky pieces, queens. Very tricky pieces. As long as I don't lose my queen here, which is something... That's been known to happen to me before. Uh, okay, but it's still it's still a fight here. Certainly a fight in this position. Um, okay, and I've got to remember about the clock. Can't fall too far behind on the clock. So, okay, my opponent defending everything. I'm just going to play a sensible move. I'm not sure that was the best move, but... Um, now, even a move like F6 looks strange, but I want to stop him breaking with E5, ever. And now it's really, I think, going to be a race on the clocks. So maybe I should have gone queen d1 there and started harassing him on the back rank. It's one of those positions he has to be very careful. He can easily run out of moves, something like this. And, okay, let's just push my pawn. I'm not sure what to do, so I'm just going to push. If I can get it as far down the board as possible, this might help me. Um, okay, again, I'm such a slow player. Unbelievable. I've got a, this mouse, I've got, I've got a... A dodgy mouse hand doesn't help my blitz, so this is where I've got to pick up the pick up the play a little bit. Queen d3, and well, I, I don't want to lose this one because of elo points, of course, but not sure how I'm breaking through here. Um, how am I breaking through? Well, let's throw that one in. At least I can get in the second rank now, and I can win the a pawn. You see this little push of the a pawn has helped me quite a lot. I can pick up this pawn on a2. And I get a very dangerous past a pawn now, so things are looking good. Could this actually be a smooth game for a change? Don't count my chickens. Do not count the chickens, Mr. Williams. So, okay. My opponent again, trying to create play. Of course, it's not going to be a smooth game. I need to get old Andrew, my... Oh, dear, he's coming over here. Am I afraid of that? Probably should be, but... Um, that's a bit of a cheeky move right what do I do against this I probably should move oh, can I take this pawn I don't know I'm a little bit worried I'm going to get checkmated but um, I've got queen e6 check f5 check yeah I don't know this is this is a again when I as soon as I start saying nice smooth game Look what happens. I, I, I get into... Oh, dear. Surely I can play. He shouldn't go there. The little move. Queen C1, mate. <sighs> okay, so there's no such thing as a smooth game when I'm playing, by the looks of it. It looked like things were going okay there, but um, certainly not smooth by any means. Um, well, let's just have a look at some critical moments. So this variation of the Sicilian and queen takes d4 is a bit of a sideline, but it's not so silly. Now, if the knight comes to c6, 
White goes bishop to b5, pins my knight. Let's go back. So bishop d7, and now my opponent gets his Maroxy bind position, where white's always going to have a bit more space. But because my opponent's pawns are on light squares, I now go for a dark square strategy, meaning that I aim to control the dark squares. And I think this bishop g4 move is a good idea because I'm trying to aim to control the dark squares. If I swap off his knight on f3, I keep doing that, excuse me. If I swap off his knight on f3, I gain more control of central dark squares. So around here, I think it's all, it's all going nicely. And castles, castles, knight d7, sensible maneuver. This, this You see this typical idea of being played a lot. Bring the knight around to c5. Um, now b3, and here this was this interesting idea where I was able to go b5. And probably I'm just doing quite well here now. Bishop b2, and now his c pawn is incredibly weak. Maybe I should have just gone, maybe I should have played a different move here. Um, I, I expect queen to a5 here would have been very strong. I'm trying to use the pin on his knight on queen. Queen to a5 followed by rook to b8 and there's going to be a number of tactical opportunities for me there so i mean rook to b8 was natural but maybe not best and now while this exchange sack i don't know what the computer's going to say about it probably doesn't like it but at least i get control of dark squares now i get a bit of pressure and it puts my opponent under the cosh a little bit i think in blitz chess the most important thing is to have the initiative if you have the initiative your opponent is going to struggle and now well i think this position here is always going to be better for me generally in chess it's better to have the two rooks rather than the queen but in this structure my dark square bishop remember i'm going for a dark square bishop strategy controls all the dark squares my opponent's bishop on f3 is just stuck passively behind the e pawn and the c pawn so this is kind of like uh um my strategy has clearly worked here so i think an okay game, um, and I will now see if I can get someone a little bit higher rated. Let's see if I can work out who my opponent was there. Mark NG was my opponent, so uh, anyway, there we go. So uh, please leave your comments, and I'm trying to do two games a day. Whether I keep that up or not, I've no idea. Let's give it a go, though. Okay, thanks for viewing.